in the 2021 World Championship silver medalist Kidambi Shrikant. And he's up against Japan's number 14 seed, Kenta Nishimoto. That's what's coming up here on court two as we see the officials take the place. Tell you that in that draw, Nishimoto is the only seeded player in that quarter after Anthony Sinsuka Ginting withdrew from the tournament. So he is the favorite to progress in his quarter if he wins his match. The winner of that match, of course, will go on to play a European opponent, as we saw there, as we see Kidambi Shrikant make his way down to the courts. The 2021 silver medalist here at the World Championships, a former world number one as well. The Indian Shuttler now 30 years of age. Looking to make his eighth World Championships appearance since debuting back in 2014. Kenta Nishimoto, now 28 years of age. World number 15, but seeded 14th. He is making a fifth World Championships appearance with his debut coming back in 2018. And both these men on their debut lost to Chen Long in the third round, which ended their campaign. So that was a formidable four then. We're talking about a different time now. Kenta Nishimoto going through a resurgence of sorts in his career. Finds himself enjoying some of his bed, best badminton at the moment. As we see, the last meeting was the at the Australian it's Open red. back in a couple of weeks ago. Jeremy Shrikant won that match. That side. Yourself. As we see the coin toss, and uh, Kenta Nishimoto won the toss, choosing ends. He chose the far end of the court. Kidambi Shrikant choosing to serve. I was saying their last meeting was just a few weeks ago at the Australian Open, the first round. Kidambi Shrikant winning that 21-18, 21-7. They met a couple more times this year, the Spain Masters in the quarterfinals, and Nishimoto won that in straight games. And before that, at the Malaysian Open in the first round, and Nishimoto won that one too in straight games. Now 30 years of age from Ravula Palam in India, ranked 30, 20th in the world, as I mentioned, has enjoyed the top spot back in April of 2018 for a few weeks, Kidambi Shrikan. His win-loss this year stands at 13 to 15. He's nine to five. In the first round, though, hoping to improve on those figures, bidding to, of course, qualify for Paris in what is a tight men's singles race within the Indian camp. As it is in the Japanese camp, Kenta Nishimoto from Mie, Japan, has gone up to as high as number nine in the world. That was in September of 2018. Now, 15 in the world, has a win-loss record in 2023 of 24 to 17. In the first round, he stands at 13 to 4. So a really good first round record this season for the Japanese. Yes. Of course, that first round loss in the Australian Open, the most recent of the four. Shrikant went on to get to the quarterfinals in Sydney, losing to countryman Priyanshu Rajawat in two games. He also got to the quarterfinals. The Spain Masters, where he lost to the man across him, Nishimoto. That's been his uh, best finish quarterfinal stage this season. For Nishimoto, he's won a title this year, the Spain Masters. Beat Suneyama, his teammate, in three games. He also reached the semi-finals of the Canada Open, where he lost to another Indian in Lakshya Sen in two games. As we see the officials for the match, it's Charles Wang 
from Chinese Taipei. In the umpire's chair, and he's joined by Henrik Boas of Denmark in the service judge's chair. As we get ready for the match to get underway. A tenth meeting between these two. And it's Kirambi Shrikant who leads that head-to-head -head six to three at the moment. The Nishimoto's Ladies two or three gentlemen. wins have come Am this right. year. Kenta Nishimoto, Japan. Only and one match on my left, Kindenbi, between Silicon, these two India. have gone to three games, and that was at the Badminton Asia Championships in 2018 in the first round, and Kindenbi, Srikant won that 13-21, 21-16, Will we see a three-gamer, or will it be a straight games win? History between these two suggests it's straight games. Defensive work by Nishimoto. So it's over. Gets the arrow of Shrikant's no. racket as a result. Into the net shot, Shrikant. Very far, Shrikant, if he tries to play the longer rallies, Nishimoto is stoic in defense, if nothing else. So if it's over. Got to be a little bit more Two, attacking, Shrikant. Three. By the Indian. Three, four. I imagine that this is going to be a heavily strategic game. These both share fairly similar qualities. They like to play out their rallies and take control and make the opportunity. You can see a little bit of frustration from Shrikan there. Three. Missed out on the hit his frame, the shuttle. And Nishimoto, as I mentioned, also bidding Five, to three. make the cut for Paris. And he's in a fairly decent position as the world number 15. Koskodai Naraoka leads the charge for Japan. And he's their second best player at the moment. 
Zero. going deep at the World Championships will certainly help his cause. Six, three. For Kidambi Shrikant, he's got a couple of other players ahead of him from India in uh, HS Pranoy and Lakshya Sen. Landed out. Seven. Early errors Seven. of Srikant's racket. for him to get off and make the net shot, Nishimoto. He's got a rain in his errors here, Kirambi Shrikant, because right now Nishimoto is in complete control of this game. It's early stages. It's good hit, a solid hit. Nishimoto challenges call out. It's called out. Nishimoto has challenged it. It's a close call. Right to challenge, I feel. It is out. It's well out, in fact. So, challenge unsuccessful. An unsuccessful challenge for Nishimoto. So, it's over. Five, eight, play. Good net shot from Shrikan to set up the smash. Seven. That's what eight. did the damage. It's a really tight net shot there from Shrikan here. Superb. And while Nishimoto did get his racket on it, it's a loose lift, easily put away by Shrikan. Work. And again, Shrikan just all. being able to control the shuttle more in that point, moves Nishimoto around, makes the save there, absorbs the attack, lets Nishimoto make the mistake, and the scores are leveled. That's landed out. Puts an end to Shrikant's four point run.
long rally. Srikant so once again one. gets on top of and Nine. feel that oh. as the rally goes on, Srikant starts controlling the exchange. Moves Nishimoto well once more on that point as well. The net shot, glorious Ten, from nine. Kidambi Srikant. We've seen a couple of those now. Really close net shot. Look at that. Full stretch. He had to rush forward. Nishimoto. A down the line Eleven, slash means nine. it's Kidambi Srikant who takes the lead. At the mid-game interval, 11-9 at the break, he's gotten off a slower start and now has taken charge early in this first game. ここからボディ打ったんですよ。ここからボディ打ったんですよ。ここからボディ打ったんですよ。ここからボディ打ったんですよ。ここからボディ打ったんですよ。ここからボディ打ったんですよ。ここからボディ打ったんですよ。ここ
just a one-point game now. 12, 13. Back since the mid game break for Nishimoto, whatever the coaches told him has paid dividends. Finds himself back on level score. Yeah. Good save again. And again. That's a terrific point from Nishimoto. 14, 13. Save after save, keeps it strong in defense and then forces the error of Kidambi Shrikant. And he's turned it around well here to take the lead. Players and call. Before 2023, Shrikant was 5-1 in their head-to-head with -head in their previous meetings. It's only in 2023 Fair that Nishimoto has made some ground, recording two wins to Shrikant's one. Like it was going out. I wonder if he should have 15, let it 13. play out that smash from Nishimoto. It looked like the shuttle was on its way out. Shrikan choosing to play it back, backfired. We'd have to go back 13. all the way to 2018 and the Hong Kong Open to find Nishimoto's sole victory over Srikant. That's how long it had been. He found his breakthrough this year. And that has been part of Nishimoto's resurgence, his comeback story since winning that Japan Open title last year. We've really seen Nishimoto grow in confidence. So it's over. 14, 16. Quick. No, no drink. I'm caught. And you'd say that one of Nishimoto's Difficult opponents have been Indian players. So we saw her. Captain Shrikant, who he's played 14. thrice and won twice. He lost to Priyanshu Rajawat in the second round of the Orleans Masters. He lost to H.S. Pranoy in the quarterfinals of the Malaysia Masters. Lost to H.S. Pranoy in the Indonesia Open as well in the first round. Laksha Sen in the semi final of the Canada Open. So! And the only other win over an Indian, 18, apart from Srikanth, was beating Mitun Majnunat in the Thailand Masters in the first round. So he's had a losing record against Indian players this year. A 
has let it out. Nineteen. Oh no, it's called in. Fourteen. Look, it was going out. My apologies. That's a good spell from Nishimoto, this. He's won 10 of the last 11 points, Kenta Nishimoto. He was 10, 12 down, and since then... He's given off just one point. Sorry, 10, 13 down. Just given up one point to find himself now in multiple game point opportunities. Game. And it is Kenta Nishimoto who takes the first game 21 14 after turning things around through the midway mark. He was trailing, as I mentioned, 10 13 and then went on a superb run oh. to change his fortunes 21 14 after 21 minutes. ま、ちょっと ちょっと長く、ちょっと長く。ね。スピン出せない、スピン出せないようにして。まあ、まだ半分だ、まだ半分。ただこう勢いのてこう、受けのって。自分のね、あの、フィジカル数いいから、フィジカル数。ちょっ
choosing to go straight down the round of head forehand. That's well left. So for Salva, Hesitated there, Shrikan, but one, two. made the right choice. Well played, in fact, well placed. Three, one. It's my mistake. It's pulled out. So if you solve her. Two, three. Don't be sweet, man. Hasn't won a title since the 2017 French Open. In fact, his last final was the World Championships in 2021, where he lost to Loki and Yu in straight games. Three, all. Desperate to turn his fortunes around. Play out. Rushed into that Four, shot. Three. Nishimoto looking to close out the point. Safi <laughs> Solver. Apologizes straight away, oh. Nishimoto. Took an aim at the body of Shrikan there. Which I think is a fair tactic. Landed out as well, but Five, the persistence four. paying off from Nishimoto. It's okay. Play out. It's typically his game just to keep at it and find an opening or work his player, his opponent. Nishimoto, show her need one. To make the mistake. Thank you. Players on call. So narrow lead at the moment for Kenta Nishimoto, having taken the first game 21 14. Five, four. Play up.
attack from Srikant, sensing his opportunity there. It's a loose shot from Nishimura as he tried to make the save and, well, Kidambi Srikant punished it. Levels the score. Five all. So it's over. Six, five. Called in. It's right on the line, in fact. So it's over. Six. All. It's really well placed shot from Shrikant. Look at how high he jumps to get that angle as well. Six all. Out. Seven, six. Lucky. Eight, Couldn't get six. it over the net. It was a nice low serve from Nishimoto. That certainly helped. Japanese. Again, good save. Lovely little drop shot. Nine. Kenta Nishimoto six. showing off his variety of skills. Instead of going for that smash there on the higher lift, chooses to go for the drop, the slower drop shot, and it works beautifully. Straight down the line, more aggressive hit that time. And Nishimoto has got his tail up. Four point lead. Four points in a row for the 28 year old. Look at the work he's putting in at the moment, Kenta Nishimoto. Playing the perfect patient game at the moment. The 14th seed. Instead of going all out, he waits for his opportunity. And it's paying off. 11-6 at the break. He's up by five points.
11-6. A quick word with their coaches, and they're Play. back on court to restart the second game. And it's Kenta Nishimoto who's taken charge. He's won the first game and now has a five-point advantage at the <laughs> interval. And it's really hard to see Shrikant 12, six. able to find his way back from here. Nishimoto has been Controlled play from Nishimoto, and that has what has been his biggest asset. Frustrating his opponent, able to play back anything that comes his way. Kenta Nishimoto now seven points up, getting one seven in a row. Oh, that puts a stop to the run. Seven, thirteen, quick. Shimoto. That time, it was a tricky position that Nishimoto found himself in, trying to play back the net shot. We found persevering, kind of launch a challenge. Nine, thirteen. It's now or never. He's got to make that move. Kidambi Shrikant. Lucky on that one. Yes, yes. A nice net shot. Completely misjudged that, Kenta Nishimoto. He's been really efficient at the net, Kidambi Shrikant. Makes you wonder why he's not playing that a lot more. So Nishimoto has made it difficult for him to control these points. Okay, thank you. Four in a row now for the Indian. That was always going to be hard for Nishimoto. It's a really high lift Eleven, trying to put 13. the shuttle back in play.
So if you solve that it, one will be painful 14, for Srikan because 11. the one thing he can't afford to do is make the mistakes on his end. He's already trailing <laughs> by a game. Can't give any kind of leeway to Nishimoto. where it was just a few points ago for Nishimoto. Can be He's back in control. It's order restored for the Japanese shuttler. Four points ahead. In a comfortable position as we edge towards the end of the second game. rallies carry on you'd have to say that it's Nishimoto who looks the more likely Shrikant sort of Thank desperate you. to find a way out find that winner Nishimoto 16-11 Five away from a berth in the second round. Shrikant running out of time here. 16, 11. Right on the line, in fact. 12, 16. Beautifully struck by the Indian. Nishimoto, The umpire having a word with Nishimoto to hurry up and get ready. for the slower 17, shot, but it's all fire. about where he puts it. Kenta Nishimoto. It's not about the power of the pace, but all about the positioning. Thank you. Targeting that far corner. And his opponent just unable to get to it properly. And it's a turn of the screw here by the Japanese. Him. <laughs> I misjudged that. So <laughs> and he knows it. 13, the wry smile 17. of Nishimoto when that landed where it did. Play on. Play on. Play on. Yeah. 
Wants the shuttle change, Nishimura, but it's a little too late. Charles Wang says, play on. Yeah. That was a super shot. So it's over. Perfect amount of pace in it. 18, Just stretches 13. back. Nishimoto. On the lift. It wasn't that bad a lift, but Nishimoto just tracks back, stretches out, and puts some pace behind it. Three away from a victory here. Kenta Nishimoto. Let's land it out. And you can do no wrong at the moment, 19, Nishimoto. 13. Is the real start to come off Shrikan's game. It's 6-all. He hasn't 13, looked back, Kenta Nishimoto. 13. And now has seven match point opportunities. <laughs> That's a nice net so shot. Over. Drop shot. Oh, he feels like he's 20. twisted. His ankle a little bit, Nishimoto. Rolling it there. Just look at how he lands. Kenta Nishimoto. Yep, slight twist. And you saw him just go over to the side and roll his ankle a little bit. Okay. Kenta Nishimoto is through to the second round here at the Total Energy's BWF World Championships 2023. He keeps his 100% record in the first round alive at this tournament. For Kidambi Shrikant, it's his first ever opening round loss at a World Championship. And Kenta Nishimoto is a happy man. 21-14, 21-14 in just 47 minutes. He played a mature patient, thoughtful game and has come through out on top. Sees off the challenge of Kidambi Shrikant. As I mentioned, 47 minutes is what it took for the 14th seed to book his place in the second round. Walk off. That, of course, brings us to the end of the action here on day one. Catch us again on day two for more first round action. And court two, it starts at nine o'clock local time, so be sure to join us then. From me, Moshumi Dutt, it's goodbye and good night.